Taylor singing gymnastics and being rich is her thing. Jose was a whole different story. Hey, what are you doing here? This is a whites only zone. You're not allowed to drink out of the drinking fountain or play here. I'm just standing up for my rights so I can get a job, ma'am. Mom, I found someone who would like to apply for the job. Great, honey, I'll be right back. Get out of my house, you little rat. Hillary, I told you not to play with those Negroes. They'll make you dumb. Mom! I think I should go. Sorry about my mom. She can get a little nutty sometimes. Don't worry. I'm used to it. Hillary, singing gymnastics and being rich is her thing. Jose, with a whole different story. Hey, what are you doing here? Just looking for a job. Oh, well, my mom's looking for someone to help her leave. You can take it. Yes, sir. Mom, I found someone who would like to apply for the job. Great, hi, I'll be right here. In the 1800s to 1960s, whites treated African Americans horribly. They thought they were better than the African Americans. They did not want them to go in their bathrooms, walk on the sidewalks, and drink from the same drinking fountain. Elizabeth Airford had experienced their terrifying treatment. It was Elizabeth's first day of school. When she was walking, she went up to these two soldiers and asked them, Where's Little Rock High? The soldiers pointed to the right. Where they pointed, a group of white people were walking to her school. But she also knew that Little Rock High had previously been a whites only and no black school. So when she was walking through the crowd of white people, Elizabeth heard and saw people shouting, cursing, and spitting in her direction. Elizabeth knew that the crowd was doing that because of her. The whites did not like a black wa walking with them back then. Elizabeth walked over to a bench and sat down. A white person s said, let's tackle her. Now Elizabeth was frightened. Then a white person came up to Elizabeth and said, come here, don't let them see you cry. That, that was, was the story of Elizabeth Eckford and her childhood as an African American.